Hey everyone, this is Alessandro. Welcome to the second part of this Polish pass. Okay, guys, so we're gonna focus here on this section. Okay, so if I go in perspective very quickly, just because I like to check my trajectory in perspective as well, as you guys know. As you can see, there is a weird uh, gap here on the Z axis. So it's something I need to fix. Obviously, this was just a mistake, not done on purpose. Um, so what I would do here is to easy in a little bit this part over here right and i'm gonna start to adjust this one okay right i'm gonna go here this part A nice clean and smooth arc. Now we're gonna take a look at this. Okay, so basically this is the axis, how the character move in space like here, right? Okay, we wanna make sure there is no subtle acceleration for no reason. keep it clean right See here also is kind of slowing down for a little bit okay it seems the spacing seems to be correct right now the other things we want to take a look is uh, is the head movement So I created this cube guys and uh, parent it to the head and give a key every frame so I could basically tra track the arc of the forehead, okay? And the reason why I'm doing that because I felt like there was a weird pop in the in the head around this area, you see, uh, you see here. And if I observe for example at the reference, the head kind of stay in place, it doesn't snap so much. Um, so this is probably because I exaggerate. Uh, way too much with this okay the same here right maybe so it's just about adjusting it a little bit and the same here right Gonna adjust the arc over here. Right? See? Nice arc. In this case, guys, it's okay to put a key every frame, okay? Looks very clean and nice now. Just a bit of squash or stretch here. Stretch. Here, a lot of... Uh, Fashion. The other things we can do is to anticipate. I feel like we can um, anticipate this, the head movement, uh, quite a bit. Now 
Now that we fix the spine, COG, the head, the trajectory and everything, we can focus on the leg as well, okay? So one of the things I don't know really like is to see the knee way too open. It's just something I don't find very uh, appealing in animation. I feel like it makes the character look very um, clumsy. Knee here we can push a little bit the foot throw. Here I think that there is basically a, there is a little jump here with the, with the foot. So what we're gonna do is keeping it, um, keeping it like this. Okay, start to rotate it, but you wanna kind of keep the same placement, or rotate a lot more. here I feel like here it could uh, not keep knee in this direction right here we can slide it inside right now that this leg is done we can proceed with the other one okay and overall again take a look at the uh, knee and everything You see here, it almost looks like it's giving a kick when actually it's, it's not really um, the case. This is because the um, arc, it's kind of uh, messed up, guys. this kind of big arc right we can push it here I feel like this will look a lot better if we we kind of stretch it. Okay, I think it will it will look a lot more stylish. And again, let's take a look one more time at this, right? Okay, clean up this trajectory here.
we're gonna move now on the last part of this tutorial and it's about the arms right stick the arm everything let's check very quickly what's going on in, pers in, the, in the camera view okay so this first part over here looks pretty nice the art seems to work quite well um, the part really that I think we need to uh, hold a bit more I think it was this one um, right right I mean this transition done working better I'm gonna check the trajectory of the uh, arm. So I think I feel like here we could. Okay, I'm just this part over here. Same here. We can drag it down. We can clean up this art really nicely. Other things we can do, as you can see, guys, I put like a box here on the tip of the stick. So we can take a look very nicely at the, the arc. Okay, until here seems to work really well. Here maybe it needs to be a little bit higher. I basically easing this out a little bit. Okay, clean these things up very nicely. Okay, so we want to make sure we, we put this on here. We can zoom in. Okay, we can adjust this. This for now. Right. Let me adjust all this. Okay, so let's do this very quickly. Boom. Okay, let's adjust the trajectory here. Now, for the other arms, I did a draw over like I did in the previous part. Okay, nothing fancy. I wanted basically to have this arm kind of 
you know move like a like a wave let's let's put it that way um okay guys so obviously once i adjust the spine and everything um the animation was kind of broken right so i use drawing like this just to fix things very very quickly right okay and i do this try to match This one coming down here, this one coming down. Right. And this one again will keep it gonna keep it up. Right, push it up like this. Zero, obviously we'll need to redo the uh, in between right but at least now we're giving a first pass we need to redo the finger as well this one we can okay pushing this down here right this one's still behind. Follow this path. Yeah, do this. Okay, we need to do with that. I can I use this one stretch of the arm? Okay. Right here. again coming down okay. um, bending this down here Now here again, pushing this down. Here. Okay, this one down like this, this one up. I know sometimes it's difficult to see the finger. Obviously. Okay. Sure. All right, so we want to kind of follow this shape over here. 
Hej. So we're gonna over exaggerate. Okay guys, for this tutorial it's done. We polish and spline all this second part. Start to look really good. Uh, we're gonna do next time the, the last session, okay? Hope you enjoyed guys. If you have any questions or comment, let me know as usual. See you next time. Ciao guys.